in today's conversation, I want to talk to you about hauling. And I'm talking, I want to really talk to you about the van, the cargo van, the sprinter van, the box truck, whatever, the vehicle you need to choose if you want to haul. So this is going to be about hauling secrets. It's really important when we talk about hauling in general, getting loads, transporting loads from A to, from point A to point B. You got to have the right vehicle. So here's an overview that I really want you to pay attention to. So let's first talk about hauling with sprinter vans. So the thing is, when we talk about sprinter vans, a lot of uh, folks have no idea what a sprinter van is. They think they might think they they do know, but they really don't know. So let me let me go back to the origins, so to speak. So a sprinter van is a light commercial vehicle that actually uh, became popular in the '90s, and uh, so from the '90s all the way to the 2000 or 2010 or 2020s now, it it, it will become very popular with uh, various pockets of the industry when it comes to uh, courier services, when it comes to logistics, when it comes to freights, when it comes to all kinds of uh, I would, think, I would say the shipping operations. And it, right now it's one of the most popular commercial and passenger vans in the United States. And so what we love about the Sprinter van is that the Sprinter van does have a exceptional experience with a, with a wide variety of safety features and a number of uses. They're really good for, for you if you are going to be like a, a Sprinter, if you are going to uh, be in a Sprinter van business, you, you will need, you'll need to know those features and capabilities. By the way, boss, Welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here to have this quick convo with you about the uh, hauling secrets that I'm revealing to this conversation, hauling secrets you need to think about before having, for example, a Sprinter van. So when we talk about Sprinter vans, you know, if you are going to be in the Sprinter van business, you have different kinds of Sprinter vans. You have party Sprinter vans. You have cargo Sprinter vans. You have panel Sprinter vans. So you got to ask yourself what, what what specific type of Sprinter van you want to adopt for your specific uh, niche. Let's say you want to open a you want to open a Sprinter van business. My question to you is, what kind of Sprinter vans do you need? Okay, what kind of niche are you at? It's really important because uh, your Sprinter van will play an important role, if not a quintessential role, when it comes to making sure that you are actually uh, making money. You you are generating. We are generating revenue from day one, and I'm not even talking about the the model of the uh, the model and year of the van. I'm talking about basically having the type of sprinter van that you need, whether it is cargo sprinter van, whether it is panel sprinter van, whether it, whether it is party sprinter van, to know exactly how you're going to use the van. This really this will play an important role in your revenue generation efforts in the long run. So when we talk about Sprinter van, the recommended uses are kind of similar to to uh, to the niche that you're in. Let me let me explain to you, because today, approximately, and this is based on our experience for the last 30 years, we're seeing that half of all Sprinter vans are used for commercial purposes. So, for example, you can have a, a Sprinter van to do like you can say, I'm gonna have my I'm gonna have a Sprinter van business, and I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna haul hazmats. Or I'm gonna haul, let's say, medical uh, shipments. Or I'm gonna haul, uh, let's say, um, construction shipments. So if you have a wide variety of cargo that needs to get from place to place quickly, or the shipper wants you to really uh, haul real quick, and you don't think you will need a larger truck, then a sprint event might be great for you. A sprint event might be great for your for your shipper. A sprint event will, will get you the, the job done real quick with no problem. And furthermore, if you have cargo that requires a wheelchair ramp, then a Sprinter van would be the right option for you as well. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you are a Sprinter van business owner or you are a would-be Sprinter van business owner, it's really important to understand that a Sprinter van in the end, for all intents and purposes, provides exceptional safety, performance, flexibility, and utility. So this is great. Because if you are going to do OTR, for example, if you are going to do out of state, if you are going to do um, state uh, state hauling, you are going to drive from state to state. It's important to have that flexibility. It's important to have that that performance, that utility, that safety, and the sprint as a sprint event does provide all those elements. Okay, and the recommended use can be anything. You can haul all kinds of loads with uh, with with sprint event. Just make sure that you are thinking about the weight. Because sprint events, all sprint events are not created equally. And so your specific sprint event that you have must actually, like you you have to be able to uh, to abide by the weight regulations, okay? Because the last thing you want is to have your sprint event actually getting stuck on the highway because of a, a mechanical problem. And here you are on the highway stranded and you have to call a AAA or you have to call uh, another, uh, another alternative to AAA to kind of come bail you up. 
this is really this is not a good this is not a good thing to have especially if you have a sprinter van business and the client is waiting for you to get uh, like the client is waiting for his load or her, or her load and here you are stuck on the, on, on the 917 all right so we just spoke about hauling with sprinter vans now let's talk about hauling with cargo vans so the thing is, well, everybody talks about yeah, cargo van. I'm, you know, I'm gonna start. A, I'm gonna start a cargo van business. Blah 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 blah. But the question is, do you understand what a cargo van really is? Let's really go back to the origins, so to speak. If you have a lot of cargo that you're that you need moving, and you need to actually move that cargo through a significant distance, then a cargo van might be good for you. And when I'm talking about significant distance, I'm talking about you know. This could be like really, really far. For like, for example, you can be in New York and say, you know what? I'm actually gonna haul all the way to uh, hmm, to DC, for example, or, or two, two to three hours, or I'm gonna haul all the way to Illinois, to Chicago, for example. I'm gonna drive all the way. Yes, if you if you have the right cargo van, you can actually cover a specific distance. Not a problem. In general, okay. In general, if you are, let's say, um, if you're trying to like, depending on the shipment that you have. You have to ask yourself whether or not you have the proper equipment in the in the van also because sometimes it's not just the, it's not just the van only it's about the accessories you have in the van so think about it so if you are moving a significant let's say you are moving a lot of cargo like through a significant distance then a cargo van might be great for you in general this might be too large if you are simply moving let's say a few boxes from place to place if you are clearing out a house or an office that a cargo van, the cargo van might be uh, good for you. Okay, for example, this could be a great option if you are catering, like if you are helping cater a wedding, transporting outdoor equipment, or clearing out a storage unit. Those are really good. So you uh, and the thing is, if you are helping out, let's say a client, a shipper, a cargo van is great. A cargo van does provide the, the room that you need, does provide the flexibility you need, does provide the safety that you need. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about hauling secrets that you need to consider, depending on the type of vehicle you have. When you have a cargo van, or you have a Sprinter van, or you have a, a box truck, when you have all kinds of, uh, you know, street trucks, I'm just giving you all those, uh, like the hauling secrets you have to think about. So what are the recommended uses of a cargo vans? So the thing is when you have a cargo vans and you want to haul, you first have to ask yourself, do I have the proper weight for like, is my load the appropriate weight for my cargo van? Because uh, this types of uh, expedite vans are typically able to handle approximately 3,400 pounds of cargo. So when you think about cargo vans, think about 3,400 maximum, 3,400 pound maximum of cargo. In general, this can fit approximately 40 medium boxes. So your cargo van can actually fit about 35 to 40. Based on our research, based on our research, we see 40 is the sweet spot. Okay, you might be able to transport a few pieces of medium furniture as well. And you should be able to fit a twin or full mattresses in a cargo van. And also this could be a great option if you have desks, couches, and water coolers to move. Okay, so you can see that you have a, a large area of stuff you can move or you, you can actually uh, haul with a cargo van and again when we talk about you actually putting stuff in your cargo van don't forget about don't forget about the distance though okay because it's not just about what you put it's about how long you're going to drive with the dead weight in your cargo van right it, it, it does it does play an important role not only in terms of you getting the job done on that particular day you're hauling but also over time when we talk about wear and tear to your cargo van because if you are constantly putting like a very heavy loads in your cargo van your uh you know your cargo van expected expected lifetime or useful life will be shortened right so if you have like 20 years if you, if you, you can use the the van for 20 years in your business you are probably are shortening the lifetime that lifetime to 13 years or 14 years so that has that that sort of a shorter expectancy life like useful life does have uh consequences in terms of revenue for your cargo van business 
So this is really important. And also when we talk about the distance you can cover, it also depends on uh, whether you want to do OTR or you or whether you just want to drop stuff like uh, downtown, you want to you want to do suburbia or you want to do the metropolitan area. It really depends on what kind of uh, niche you're in, depends on what kind of uh, loads you are hauling also. So those are, again, those may not seem important for you when you have one load, when you have one shipment, but if you have 10 shipments, or 50 shipments, then those elements become important. Let's talk about hauling with street trucks. So this is uh, another uh, type of uh, a type of vehicle that you need to consider if you are going to get into the transportation industry. And the thing is, uh, if you have a lot of cargo to move, then uh, you might require a street truck. You know, so these are also called the cube vans, box trucks, or cube trucks. So the name, so when you hear those terms, they are interchangeable. They are synonymous. They mean the same thing. Cargo van. I'm sorry, street box, street trucks, box trucks, cube trucks. Okay, and they are usually between 14 and 26 feet long. And so there is usually a garage door on the back that swings open. And uh, there might also be a ramp that rolls up in the back. If you need to haul furniture, heavy appliances, and similar cargo, this could be a great option for you. And uh, so this is also a popular option if you are moving houses or offices. If you need some extra space, then you might need a straight truck. And so the thing is, you know, going back to what I said about your niche, then you got to ask yourself, based on my niche, do I have the proper vehicle? So if uh, what I just said corresponds to the niche you're in right now, then you will need a street truck. For example, if you are moving houses or offices, okay, if you need extra space, if you need like in, in anything you do, like or if the clients, if the shipper is asking you uh, to have extra space in your, in your van or box, box truck, then you really need a box truck. One thing I want to say also is that when we talk about box trucks, what we love about box trucks, we love the solidity. We love the strength. We, we love the fact that this is a solid, this is a solid vehicle, okay, for all kinds of uh, all kinds of hauling. And we love the flexibility because when you when you think about it, if you are going to get yourself in the in the uh, in the courier business or in the logistics business overall, you want to pay attention to the kind of vehicle you are driving because it will it will have an impact on revenue will have an impact on insurance, it will have an impact on risk management, it will have an impact on uh, reputation, okay, what, like the kind of uh, perception clients have of your business, of uh, your reliability, is your cargo van, is your transportation, is your business van, is your box truck, is, is, is your cargo van, your sprinter van, your box truck business reliable at all? So the vehicle that you have will play an important role in that. And so when we talk about street trucks, you really have to be very careful about the recommended use. Don't use street trucks for anything. You have to use that type of trucks for specific purposes. Let's say if you have a large furniture and appliances that won't fit in a van, for example, cargo van or sprinter, or sprinter van, then you need to go with a street truck. Okay. And furthermore, if you have, let's say you have a large, a large set of boxes to move, then a street truck is also a great idea. And if you have a house or apartment with multiple bedrooms, you might need to rent a street truck. Okay. And what will happen here is that the additional ramp can make it easy for you to get items on and off the truck. So, th so those are like situations where a street truck is better than a sprinter van, for example, or a cargo van. But again, it, it, it always goes back to like, you're the one hauling. You're the one actually seeing the situation that you currently have right now. You're the one who actually knows what the uh, the shipper wants you to really haul. You are the one who sees like who has a clear idea about the shipper's needs. So you got to really think what really will actually be appropriate in your situation. And when we talk about the uh, hauling, we're talking about weights, of course, but we're also talking about geography. Geography plays an important role in this business of ours. We are not just driving. We're not just hauling loads from one place to another. 
we, we need to have a clear idea of the distance we have to cover. And I'm not just talking about whether or not you are doing OTR or you, you are hauling like a, you are doing out of state or cross states sort of low, like cross state hauling. No, because if, even within a state, distances might be uh, very big. Like you, you can be like in New York, for example, if you're driving from, uh, from New York city to Albany, for instance, or, or if you, if you are, let's say in New Jersey and you're driving from Newark to Tom's river, New Jersey, I mean, those are pretty consequential distances. So we're not talking about chip change distances here. No. So it does play an important role. What, what, the kind of distance you have to cover with your street truck, your cargo van or Sprinter van. Okay. It's not just about the, the, the roomy, like to have, it's not about just having a roomy sort of cargo space. No, you need to have uh, more than that. Let me give you a few pro tips before we close to this conversation. So into this conversation, I'll just share with you a few hacks that you, you need to have when, when it comes to uh, hauling, cargo, hauling with cargo vans, sprinter van and uh, street trucks. The thing is, you have to know the businesses that use cargo vans, sprinter vans or street trucks because businesses of all sizes use those vans to accomplish various transportation needs, which, mean, which means what? They will call upon you. They'll call upon you a cargo van business owner. They'll call upon you a, a street truck business owner. They'll call upon you your Sprinter uh, van business owner to haul stuff for them. Okay. And uh, so here are some of the businesses that use uh, cargo vans, Sprinter vans, and uh, street trucks. You have a last mile delivery services. You have a caterers. You have florists. You have landscapers. You have plumbers. You have uh, HVAC techs. You have a uh, movers, you have cleaners, you have electricians, you have medical transport, tra transports, you have a telecom internet services, you have mobile auto detailers. So you do have a lot of, uh, you have a large constellation of uh, industry players. Okay. And uh, who are using, uh, who are using uh, cargo vans, business, sprinter van and um, street truck companies. The thing is, when we talk about using a cargo van for your, for your, for your shipping, for your let's say your client shipment you got to think about the fact that you are able to increase total deliveries because if you are able if you're able to increase the number of loads you haul or the number of hauls you actually uh to you actually uh process that's a revenue increase boss if you are a cargo van business a sprinter van business or a street truck business having the ability to increase total deliveries means having access to more revenue okay so you are able to uh, deliver more packages you are able to deliver heavier packages and payloads. You are able to deliver longer packages. You also have ample space. Think about that. Okay. Cargo vans, sprinter vans, street trucks are basically big boxes on wheels that you can use for any purpose like packages, tools and work equipment, replacement parts, workers sitting, tables and chairs, coolers, food and beverages. Okay. So this is really important to have to, to, to consider. And you are able to also uh, have a uh, faster deliveries. Okay. So you can haul stuff like you can drive from New York to, uh, to New York city to Newark, for example, and uh, real quick. So this is one of those things you have to consider. And in terms of having faster deliveries, and this is kind of cool for your revenue generation uh, efforts. And you also have additional branding opportunity. If you have a street truck, a box truck, a Sprinter van or a cargo van, because you can actually uh, just uh, use it for branding purposes. You can use it for for advertising. You know, you can you can use it for a lot of things. But remember, though, there are some challenges in, in this industry. So if you are thinking about hauling with a Sprinter van, cargo van, or street truck, think about the fact that there are some upfront costs and ongoing expenses. In terms of like think uh, think about things like um, trim and upgrade options, upfit packages and accessories, vehicle graphics, transportation and handling charges title or registration fees, prep or documentation fees, taxes and interest fees. You have vehicle maintenance, you have insurance premiums. So those are things you have to think about. You also have a rising fuel costs right now. It's a big problem in the industry. And you also have to think about driver safety. So if you are an owner operator or you manage, let's say a large fleet of uh, sprinter vans or cargo vans or street trucks, you got to pay attention to driver safety also.
Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about hauling secrets you need to uh, to pay attention to in terms of uh, hauling with Sprinter veins, with cargo veins, with street trucks. I'll give you a few pro tips also. Thank you. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>